All right, so this portion of the, uh, the morning routine for just getting going in the morning time, uh, and this is really, if you're starting with us, the very basics at the Vitality Mill, one of the things we're gonna start doing is working on your mobility and flexibility so you can start getting into a squat properly, so you can start to be able to press overhead properly and things like that. Well, we see a lot of individuals that can't sit into a squat properly but then you, they go to a place in uh, boot camp or something and they just give you a weight and just start squatting. And, uh, and what happens is you get injured and you never get the full range of motion that you, uh, that you should be able to get. So what we wanna do today is in the morning time is what I would do is I would set a clock for five, 10 minutes and I would just go through this, uh, this routine real quick to get your uh, heart rate up. Uh, at the same time to get you uh, uh, mobile uh, to start your day. And it's just a good way to start your day all the way around. So first thing we can do is, um, you can do this from the ground. Some of you may not be able to get to the ground. So what we would do is, is some kind of step. Uh, this could be a, uh, an ottoman, this could be uh, a chair or something like that. And I'm gonna put my foot to the side of it. And then I'm gonna stack my shoulder, wrist, elbows and I'm gonna have it right underneath me. This back leg, I'm gonna take back as far as I can. So now I'm getting a good stretch right there in that hip flexor. At the same time, I'm getting a good stretch over here in this hip. And then all we wanna do from there is, is I wanna take this hand that's inside and I just wanna open up. Okay, we're just gonna take that, bring it back down, open back up. My eyes are following my hand. Once I can't see my hand, I'm done. Come back. So you can go 10 on one side, then you can switch sides, lean into, open up. You can do 10 of those on, uh, on each side. The next one, you may grab a, if you have a band, then a band, um, it could be that you might be a, a long belt or a long, whatever, it, it doesn't matter really. But if I'm using a, a band, I'm just here, I'm taking the band and I'm gonna take it from the bottom of my hips all the way over and bring it down to the top of my hips. All the way back over, top of my hips to the front, all the way back, there. So you do 20 of those. So now we have our Spider-Man lunges with our open up. We have our dislocations with a band. You could also do that with like a, a, a pole of some type right here. Bring it here, bring it all the way back. So we just get some shoulder mobility in those uh, shoulders. <laughs> okay. Next one, let's go to the ground. What I want to do is I want to take my feet. So we're always walking with our feet this way. We're never going the opposite direction. So what I want to do is I want to push my hips down and get a good stretch there. Then I want to reach out as far as I can. We just hold this. You can hold that for, uh, you can count, you can hold it that way. You can just uh, sit into it until you feel a good stretch and then get back up. Then let's go in and let's sit into a hip flexor stretch here. So over we'll here, I'm just gonna lean forward. You may put something, you can put your hand in here. Let's just hold that, come back to the front, lean back into five, four, three, two, one. I do like 10 holds, five, four, three, two, one. I do 10 of those and I switch sides. Do the same thing on the other side. Five, four, three, two, one. Do 10 of those and go from there. Next one, let's take, uh, it could be a couch, ottoman, whatever, chair. Let's lay on our back. And all we're gonna do here is, is I'm going to have my hands palms up. I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna lift my hips as high as I can. Bring it back down. Driving through my heels, hits as high as I can, hold for a second, squeeze back here, 
bring it back down. Let's do 15 of those. So now we have a, a, solid, uh, a solid stretching routine for us to get started in the morning time with that Spider-Man lunge to an open up with also uh, the band dislocations uh, across the board. You can set a clock for 10 minutes and just go through those for 10 minutes. You can do each of them for three times through, however you want to do it. What this is going to do is just get us moving in the morning time. It's going to start helping us get more mobile. If you have any injuries or you have anything like that, it's going to help you out. Uh, boat loads as well. And then now we're starting to make a little bit of progress with that. You add this in with all the little other things like getting 30 ounces of water, 40 caffeine, things like this. Now we start making strides and we haven't done anything that's real difficult. We're just making little bitty deposits. And those little bitty deposits done consistently over time will start to lead to us feeling better. Once we start to feel better, we have more energy, then we can start taking leaps uh, to, to, to grow from there and then uh, potentially uh, come to us at the Vitality Mill. One thing I wanna make sure that you understand is it does not matter where you are physically right now. Like we tell ourselves stories of when I do this, then I'll start working out. When I drop a few pounds, then I'll reach out. What I want you to understand is you don't need to do all that. You can reach out at any time and we'll take it and we'll build a program around you and meet you where you are. We do that every single day and it's what sets us apart from everyone else. Seth Humphrey here with the Vitality Mail. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to uh, respond via email and I'll get you more information. Have a fantastic day. Talk soon.